I'm Dr. David Evans. I am the vertebrate paleontologist at the Royal Ontario Museum. I study dinosaurs for a living here at the ROM. Um, I am Hans Larsen. I'm a vertebrate paleontologist. I've um, spent my entire life since the age of five uh, thinking, breathing dinosaurs. Um, now uh, running expeditions around the world, uh, collecting dinosaurs and other fossils. I'm here because Damien, Damien uh, saw a documentary that I was in uh, while he was in, in, in a hospital and he had asked if he could meet with me and I immediately uh, upon hearing that jumped at the opportunity. Yeah. Well it was about a year ago after Damien had finished treatment we have discussed with Damien the concept of he was allowed to make a wish if he so desired. Um, it took him about six months or so to figure out what it was that he wanted, but once he figured out what it was... They made it happen. I've always wanted to see what it's like to be a paleontologist working with actual fossil bones in my hand. I was still meeting Dr. Larson, now, and I was also meeting Dr. Evans. He discovered the, the Royal Ontario Museum's Rarosaurus, which they had lost in the archives. I think he had the most fun playing, getting to play with all the different fossils and actually got to clean and conserve some of them. Both Hans and I took Damien on a tour of the labs behind the scenes. So Damien got to see where we prepare the dinosaur fossils, clean them, and stabilize them. And then we brought him here into the collection to see where we store the fossils. And these areas are really only where paleontologists get to go. So Damien, I think, got a pretty special experience in term of, terms of getting sort of unrestricted access to um, the real world of dinosaur paleontology. We also set Damien up uh, in the afternoon, actually helping us clean and prepare some dinosaur fossils. My name is uh, Brian Iwama. I'm the collection technician uh, here in the uh, paleo section at the Royal Ontario Museum. Okay, Damien, so this is where we're going to be working, so you can have a seat uh, there. Well, basically I had him uh, do a little bit of uh, actual genuine hands-on uh, work. We got him to uh, clean off a, a bit of uh, uh, the clinging sandstone matrix and uh, roots off of uh, uh, hadris or uh, hip uh, bone fragments uh, that uh, Dr. Evans had uh, collected just a couple weeks weeks ago, as a matter of fact, down in uh, Montana, uh, and uh, this is exactly uh, the type of work that we do, and uh, so he was helping me with filling out uh, the lab worksheet, uh, cleaning up the bones, uh, uh, hardening them up with our uh, plastic bone preservative, uh, all, all the real stuff that we do. And Damien's name will forever be associated with that bone because his name will go into the database here at the ROM uh, as the preparator of that fossil. That um, looks like an ornithochylid. That is, yeah, it's an ornithochylid pterosaur. He knew everything there was about dinosaurs and other things too. So, so he not only knew the new species, how big they were, how fast they may have been, what they ate, where they came from, but also some of the anatomy too. And that, that was very, um, um, very surprising for me to see how much he knew, like encyclopedic. He asked many questions like, like were, they, were they capable of walking on two limbs or four limbs? Or what kinds of sounds do they make? And where do the air go through in, the, in these? And all these questions are, are, are questions that, that, that sort of adult paleontologists are asking uh, today. So it was very, very, very uh, eye-opening to see uh, Damien at age 12 asking the same questions that, that we're asking. So what do you think this dinosaur is? That, um, I'm not really sure that's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a trick question. It um, looks more like an elephant bone. It's actually an elephant. It's actually a living elephant. It's, there are very key differences between mammal bones and reptile bone. And the bones that I was looking at were too wide and the wrong shape to be any form of quadruped dinosaur. But they were definitely big enough for a very large mammal. What was great for me was I got to discover that my son's doing a lot more reading than we thought he was. Yes! <laughs> I do have a dinosaur collection. You do? Whoa! It's an Alamosaurus. That's actually awesome. really good. <laughs> <laughs> and he taught himself how to do this. It certainly was great to interact with such a bright, young, uh, 
budding paleontologist. It uh, was uh, really fantastic uh, working with uh, Damien and actually quite exciting, brought back a lot of memories. Humbled, honored, all those things, uh, hard to say uh, uh, anything for words, but uh, very happy to have met him.